There's a new AI tool everyone's talking about called Google Notebook LM. And what it does is you can feed it a bunch of different sources, news articles, YouTube videos, things like that. And it'll take all that information. It'll use AI to make sense of it. You can ask questions about it. It can come up with study guides for you. Or the real star of the show is it can generate podcasts based off the information you give it. But I'm going to show you the tool so you can see for yourself how it works. To access Google Notebook LM, go to notebooklm.google.com. And of course, you'll have to sign in with your Google account if you're not already. And you'll see this page. And then you hit New Notebook. And you can choose your sources here. So you could drag in, drag and drop a PDF from your computer, markdown file, .txt, all that. You can get things off of Google Docs, Google Slides. You can link to a website. You can link to a YouTube video. You could paste text in. And you can have up to 50 sources in a single notebook. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to go find five news articles and two YouTube videos about my topic. And I'm going to put those in here. Okay, so I'll take this one, for example, and I'll just click on these three dots. I'll say share. I'll grab that link by copying it. And then go back to my notebook, hit YouTube, paste in the URL. And it put that video as my first source. And I'm going to do the rest with the, my next videos and articles. So I added all my sources. You can see them over here on the left. And at the bottom, you can see these ones that are red. And those are ones, if I hover over this little eye, it says unable to import this web page due to source restrictions. So they have some sort of thing that's preventing Google from scraping that article or using that article. But all the rest of these are being used. And you can un unuse it by unselecting that thing next to it. Otherwise, by default, they're all selected. I didn't even click anything. It just automatically generated a summary about that first one I added, which was the YouTube video called China's Electric Car Industry is Insane. But what I could do is I could generate a frequently asked questions thing. And you can see it's saying new note, generating. Okay, and this thing pops up and I can scroll through here. So what is the current state of the Chinese auto industry in Mexico? And then there's its response. And I can read through it like that. If I go back, so if I go back to that view I had before by clicking on notebook guide, I come back here and I can have it generate timeline, briefing docs, study guide, table of contents. Let's see what that does. So here's the table of contents that it came up with. And so it labels them by source. So source number one, there's the name of the article and then the key points and a little summary from that article and so on for each one. Back to notebook guide. Now here is what's really crazy about this tool is this thing right here that says deep dive conversation. You can generate a podcast where it's going to sound like two people are talking about these articles, about this topic. So I can hit generate and I'll just give this a moment to generate. And there it is. So you can see it generated a nine minute and 37 second podcast. And if I hit play, here's what it sounds like. All right. So you sent over a ton of stuff about Chinese electric vehicle companies, you know, EV companies heading down to Mexico. Yeah. And looks like you want the full rundown, right? Why Mexico, what it means for the U.S., and uh, what kind of impact this could have globally. So exactly. let's deep dive into this whole thing. See what's pretty crazy. So it's just two hosts bantering about the topic that you've given it. And so you can see how this would be really useful for studying or doing research for a podcast or YouTube video, or maybe for work. And it can just take a bunch of information, help parse it out and give it to you in a way that you might prefer to learn it. So that, that's really the key feature that everyone's talking about is how it can generate these podcasts. Beyond that, there's this suggested questions section. And so if you click on that, it basically puts you into Gemini is the back end of all of this. That's Google's AI LLM. And so at the bottom, there's always that start typing bar where you could ask it questions. Like if you have specific questions about this topic and it'll parse through all those articles, give you answers. And so in that case, I entered this pre pre-made question. What are the key factors driving China's dominance in the ele global electric vehicle market? And then this is the answer it gave, it broke them out into bullet points, government support. And then along with that, this is what's really powerful too is these little numbers here are their sources. So if I click on number one, it takes me to that article, or in this case, the YouTube video 
that it got that information from. And all the way down, it used 15 different citations throughout this. And then if I like it, I can hit save to note and it's gonna put it into this note right here. And I can create my own notes. I can do add note and I can start typing anything I want in there. And that can just be another note in my notebook. So it's all these different tools for making sense of parsing, summarizing all these different sources that you have here. Pretty powerful. And the podcasting thing is a step towards on the fly information, on the fly content that'll be generated using AI um, in the near future.